After the bombing of Pearl Harbor and the declaration of war, it became apparent that the United States would have to use all available materials to build the weapons of war. Evansville, as well as the rest of the nation, answered this call in many ways. Evansville's residents, like all Americans, were asked to secure materials for the war effort through collection drives. These drives were sometimes large coordinated community events that encouraged the city to come together in the name of patriotism and other times weekly collections that became part of the daily routine. The most memorable collection efforts during the war involved the collection of rubber, paper, and metals. Scrap drives were very popular in the city. The first major drive in Evansville was a rubber campaign that took place in June of 1942 with a goal of 300,000 pounds of scrap rubber by the end of the month. Scrap was to be collected at local service stations around town. Tens of tons of rubber were collected, but as Americans would find out, there was always more scrap to collect. The major scrap metal drive took place several weeks later. Metal could be used for vehicles, weapons, and ammunition, while rubber was used in tires, boots, and tank tracks. Scrap drives were an excellent way for children to do their part for the war effort. Children were encouraged to take part going door to door and finding discarded metal and rubber. They would then take these scraps to vacant parking lots that were designated for scrap piles. Scrap collection became part of the weekly school routine as well. The amount of aluminum collected by each school would be recorded and the schools would compete against each other to contribute the most each month. Kitchen grease, which contained glycerin, was used to make explosives and was generally gathered from housewives. School children were tasked with bringing that excess grease to school for collection. Another drive that school children played a crucial role in were milkweed pod collections. Milkweed was commonly found in local fields. Students would walk through the fields before the corn was harvested, picking pods and filling large bags. They would be paid a small amount for each bag of milkweed pods, compensating them for their patriotic efforts. The numerous collection drives provided continual opportunities for all Americans to do their patriotic duty. Young and old alike stepped up to do their part. When the war wrapped up, many Americans could legitimately claim that their efforts to gather scarce materials helped win the war. This has been an F.J. Wright's Feel the History production.